and welcome back to a brand new workout video. This is part three of our K-pop workout series and today we're going to create apps. I'm gonna show you guys mine. Ta 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 ta! Um, like the beautiful Kasuha from the Seraphim and I'm so super excited. So without any further ado, let's get into it straight away. So the first exercise that we will be doing today are switching leg raises and for this exercise we are going to lay down. So make yourself comfortable, make sure that you're on a soft surface, preferably a yoga mat but a blanket will be okay as well. If you're doing this at home and you don't have a mat, uh, make sure you're comfortable and then for this one we're going to extend the legs and then one leg up, one leg down. We're going to do each exercise in this workout for 30 seconds. A slight bend in the knees is okay. I just came off a flight, so I'm a little bit stiff, um, but especially after traveling, it's really important to keep moving, so it feels really good to be back on my yoga mat, back again working out with you guys, that makes it even better, obviously. So done with that one, now we're going to do leg raises, but then we're going to raise both of them at the same time. Again, extend your legs, but then all the way down and up, down and up, down and up. You're doing such a great job. Come on, this is the perfect app challenge. It's not too long. You can do it whenever, wherever you want. Summer is coming up. So this is also a good one to do at the beach. And we're done with that one already. Now moving on to the next exercise. And that is a reverse crunch. I personally love reverse crunches. They're always super challenging and super fun to do. Make sure that you do them slowly, as in um, you don't have to do them fast. It's about doing them right. Also make sure that you land carefully. Do not want to hurt your back with this one. Really good. One more. And that is it, you guys. Are your abs burning already? Mine are. <laughs> so moving on to the next one, the bicycle crunches. Hands behind your neck and opposite elbow to opposite knee. Come on, let's get this. I know that this is hard, but you should be so proud of yourself. You took the time out of your day to do this workout with me today. You're not alone. We're in this together. We're in this to win this. You got this, so don't give up now. Three, and two, and one, and that is it. Now we're going to do a Russian twists. So we're going to come up for this one. Legs off the floor, the floor is lava, and from side, to side. Again with this one, it's not about doing this fast, it's about doing this right. Move your entire torso to the side that you're moving towards. Come on. Those legs stay off the ground, guys. The floor is lab, I'll remember that. You're almost done. And three, and two, and one, and that is it. Really good job. Now we are going to do mountain climbers. So for this exercise, you might wanna pull your socks up because they have the tendency to slide down with an exercise like this. If you're wearing socks, if you're wearing shoes, you'll be fine. And then we're going to go into a high plank, weight over your shoulders. And then we're going to do this slowly because I often see mountain climbers done wrong, and I have to be honest, it's a difficult exercise for me as well. So, knee to opposite shoulder, really good job, come on. And it's better to do this one slowly, 
Then to go hard, but let's do this a little bit faster. Great. Come on. Good job. Three, two, one. And that is it. Now we're getting into a plank twist. So for this plank twist, we're going to go into a low plank like this. And then we're going to move from side to side. To the side, to the side. Come on. Really good job. That's it. Great. Shift those hips from left to right. Great. Keep it up. Don't give up now. You're strong. You're beautiful. You're amazing. You're talented. And that is it. We are done for this one now. And now we are going to do a 30 second low plank. It's just a plank hold. Again, we're going to go into that low plank position. But this time we're going to hold it here. Really good. Move forward. I have my hands together in a prayer pose. That's what's most comfortable for me. And trust me, I feel this in my abs as well. Like I said, just came off a flight. I'm tired, I'm exhausted, but very happy and very grateful that I'm doing this with you. So if I can do it after a flight, you can do it too. Two. One, and that is it. Okay, two more exercises to go, guys. No matter how exhausted you are, we're going to push it through. So we're going to do side plank crunches. I know, sounds like hell, but we're gonna do it. Okay, side plank crunches, are you guys ready? So for this one, you're going to go into your side plank position. Legs stacked on top of each other. We're going to move the hips up, hands right here, and then you're going to bring your arm to your knee. Like this. I know this one is really challenging, and trust me, especially after doing all these exercises, I'm shaking as well, but like with everything, it's not fun if it's not challenging. So, you know, this is Almost your final exercise. After this, one more of the side crunches and you're done. So I want you to give it your all. Great. That's it. Come on. Yes. And you are done. For this side, I want to make a little modification because I hear from a lot of people that they find these exercises extremely hard. So we're going to drop this knee. So instead of going all the way up, we're going to drop this one and just lean like this. I don't know how to explain this to you guys, but we're going to be in this position. So you start like this, leg here, other leg bend it, and you're going to move up like this. This is much easier, but I want to make my workouts beginner proof. So we're going to try it like this. If you were fine with the other version, then I urge you to do the other one because it is more challenging. But if you're doing this one, know that there's nothing wrong with you. This one is also really good. You're still strong. And sometimes it just takes a little time to practice. I haven't done side planks in a while as well myself, so even for me, this needed some getting used to. But the most important part is that you're here on your mat and that you completed the workout. No matter how many times you had to pause, you did this, you reached the end. Congratulations, I'm so extremely proud of you. If you want to complete our full K-pop workout challenge, I urge you to do this specific workout three times in a row for the upcoming six days. You can take Sundays off, it's a rest day, 
but you can also just choose any other day of the week that's more convenient for you to take a rest day on. And then next Monday, I will be back again with another workout, the fourth one and the final one in my K-pop workout challenge. If you haven't done the previous two challenges, I also recommend you to do those. I've listed them down below in the pinned comment as well as in the description box. And yeah, I just hope that you love this challenge so far. If you have any workout recommendations, types of exercises you want me to do, let me know, leave it in the comments. And I'm really out of breath, guys. So I think it's time for me to end this video. Just know that you're a rock star and I love you so much. Bye-bye.